Welcome everyone. This video is going to be something different. We're going to take a look back at the last approximately eight years of Singularity Computers builds, a bit of history, to give some background on something that we have coming up, which you're going to see on some of the big YouTube channels and pretty much everywhere soon. I can't give an exact timeline. We leaked it recently a couple of times on social media and based on you know the questions that we had and we had a lot of questions, I felt like it was important to kind of give some background on this leading up to it, but I can't actually show it yet or really give you many details on it. This video is going to be a bit more about the past. So this product that we have coming up is the answer to the question, what is next for custom cables and cable management? And it's really another step for the computer case. At least it is our offering and we will see how people take it. You know, we just try to keep pushing things forward, do what excites us, create what excites us, and then leave the rest up to you guys. I'm not exactly sure when custom cables started, but I know that I started doing it probably around about 2009, 10. And, you know, after that, I really got right into it. I think the first build, I may have just done the core components but then I started just customizing all of the cables and sleeving them. And anyone who's done it will know how time consuming and complicated it really is. You need a lot of tools, a lot of materials. You need to have a lot of knowledge even just to purchase what you need to do it. But then the incredible amount of time that goes into just making even just one strand. And you look at the amount of strands that are in some of these builds I mean, this is days and days of work with your hands, you know, melting, burning, crimping. And it's something that, you know, if you're just going to build a system for yourself just once or maybe once every few years or something, it, it's fine. It's a nice exercise to do. It's something that's, it's a little bit tedious, but when you've done it, you feel proud of it. And, you know, it's part of the fun. The cable management is another aspect of that. So, Obviously, the reason for good cable management is aesthetics. It also has some functional reasons such as maybe airflow, but cable sleeving and custom cables, it's really just aesthetics, although you know you are also cutting down length. And that's one of the things that we've always done is customize the cables to length so that you don't have messy cables wrapped up and, and jammed everywhere. So that is you know also airflow. But really the main reason is aesthetics for custom cables. So just take a look at this build, client build 18 into these huge case labs cases, which I used to do a lot of. Just the, the sheer amount of cables here, the amount of work on these cables, I would say there was probably five times the amount of work just on the cables compared to the rest of the build. And if you look at the cable management in these older cases, like the TJ11, all of the Case Labs cases, they really don't have anything for cable management aside from some cable management loops for cable ties. But a lot of the cables just have to hang in midair. You have really no way of uh, properly managing the cables cleanly. Looking at the evolution of the computer case from an enthusiast perspective, at least the more recent history, what has really changed? I remember the introduction of black cases was just amazing at the time because before that it was pretty much just all beige and silver on the inside or maybe black on the outside but still all silver on the inside. The first cases that had radiator mounts were just awesome like the Cosmos and the 800D were some of the really early cases with radiator capacity. Since then I guess the addition of tempered glass, of course RGB, but you know what has really changed its major since the beginning. Cases still same concept, they look similar. We have some super creative stuff from some companies like Inwin for example, which is cool. But you know we're always looking at where can we go in the future and at least trying to create something and put something out there that is our vision of you know the future. After building systems for many years you know, having a lot of experience with all of the different cases, components, problem solving, 
you know, the, the fun of building systems, we became more and more motivated to create our own products because we started seeing solutions, better ways of doing things and becoming really excited about being a part of the progress of the industry. You know, that's what motivates us. And that's when Spectre came about. Now we didn't create the idea of the distribution plate. It was around for a few years before we even created a single one. And we were actually slow to adopt the idea. I had many requests for distribution plates before, you know, for like at least a year before we created a single one. And the reason I was slow to adopt them is because I loved the aesthetics and really the idea. But the thing for me that bothered me is that they had no purpose except for aesthetics. And everything that I put into my builds has a, a function, you know, I'm obsessed with function. But not only that, they are locked to a, were locked to a specific configuration. If you wanted to change a GPU and the water block has a different hole alignment, that's it. You pretty much have to scrap everything, all of that expensive CAD work, CNC machining, and you know, the, the mods to the cases that are required to actually fit them in there. So that means pretty much the case had to go. This wasn't practical for my customers because we create a platform that customers can upgrade for a long time. And you know, I just didn't like that idea. So I thought, how can we standardize the distribution plate and give it a purpose? And that is how Spectre came about. So it is a standard distribution plate that is compatible with just about anything. And the purpose that we gave the distribution plate was integration, integrating liquid cooling components into the structure of the case, the reservoir, the pump top, but also, and this is something that people missed a lot is cable management integration. You know, the first really advanced solution for cable management. Not that it's, you know, super advanced. I mean, it's a simplistic idea creating cable management channels with integrated cable combs, but you know, you can have all your cables perfectly aligned and you really don't have to put that much effort into it. You just clip them in, you know, you don't have to spend hours and hours trying to align everything and mod the case to create cable management. So yes, we didn't, create the idea of the distribution plate, but we certainly commercialized it because after that you see all of the big companies followed, you know, now EK, Bitspower, everyone else, there's a lot of distribution plates on the market since the introduction of Spectre. Before that, there were very, very few. But not only that, you've seen companies like Fractal pa patenting cable management integration. They actually created molded plastic cable management channels, you know, similar to the channels machined on the back of Spectre in their cases, which I think is super cool that we could be, I'm not saying that we're responsible for any of that and who cares anyway. What matters is that we were actually a part of that progress and that is what motivates me and what excites me. So what is next? Where are we going? And that comes back to the original goal of Spectre, which was integration. The goal is still integration, further integration. But that doesn't mean less compatibility. But those two things, compatibility and integration, do work against each other. And that has actually been one of the greatest challenges with our integration, you know, with our designs, is to maintain compatibility, not restrict it. And with this new level of integration, it has become an even greater challenge, but I think something that we've worked quite well with. But this one has taken us a long time, mainly because it is a completely new area for us. You know, we've become very proficient at manufacturing processes like machining, but what I'm talking about here is just a completely new area. So we needed new people, a new team. But where we've been working is an alternative to cables. It doesn't eliminate cables yet, but it is an alternative to cables. And again, at the same time, it integrates a lot of new function and it brings a lot of new benefits as well. So step one in our goals is a retrofit. So this product will be added to existing cases. And this is not really even about Spectre. We're only using Spectre for this presentation because that's kind of how the idea came about. But this product will go into several popular cases and an increasing amount of cases. 
But step one is adding it to existing tech. The future is designing cases specifically for it. And that is when the real benefits come about. So obviously we are extremely excited about putting this idea out there. We can't wait to see it in some builds. And I'd like to take this opportunity to say that I am just so glad, happy, humbled that I could be a part of this industry for so many years. And it's really all I ever wanted was just to be able to contribute some ideas. And so I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity to do that. And we are very much looking forward to the future.